You can use Mid Journey to make your own logos. You can use it to make your own buttons, clickable buttons. We can use Mid, um, Mid Journey to help us with ideas for creating Power BI dashboard. <music>
Um, there's some phone icons, uh, some different icons in here. We can pull these out. Now I can use these icons. I'm gonna pull out this calendar icon right here. I'm gonna take a picture of it. I'm gonna take this calendar icon right here and I'm gonna pull it into my Power App. All right, so we're back in Power Apps. I'm gonna insert the media image and I'm gonna pull in that icon here. I did a little adjustment, you know, I kind of removed the background. We're gonna make it smaller. Looks like a calendar. And then what am I gonna do? How am I gonna make this icon work, right? If I hit play, press play, it does nothing. So the trick is, and this is just my opinion, this is how I do this, is I create a button. I take that button and I overlay it over top. And I try and get it to be about the right size. Maybe just like that. And then I go to the colors, I make it see-through, I get rid of the text, and then on the hover fill, I change the one here, so this is the alpha value. I'm gonna change it to maybe a 0.1. We'll try 0.2, that might be too bright. But let's see what happens. So now we have a button, and if I can make it just a little bit smaller, it's gonna fit perfect. Perfect. So now when I hover over, it looks like a button, it acts like a button. There's actually a button over top of it. I'm using that image, and you could do this with components. You know, you could combine pictures with components and, and do all that fun stuff. Um, but now I have that button. And so when I, uh, another thing you may wanna do just to perfect it is to, maybe it's the pressed fill. There we go, the pressed fill. I'm, on the pressed fill, let's make it a little bit darker. On the pressed fill, we'll make it 0.4. So now we can see that color. Perfect. So now we have used AI art with a button overlay and we have our own custom button. All right, that's just two ideas so far that we've used mid-journey AI uh, tool. Let's keep going. All right, so now we have our mid-journey tool. Let's imagine a Power BI dashboard that's blue, gray, light blue, and has pie charts. Let's see what happens. All right, so when I added pie charts, it's kind of only giving me one giant pie chart. I'm gonna remove the pie charts part and just say Power BI dashboard blue, gray, so you can kind of see, look at that, uh, that's pretty neat, but I'm gonna ask for something a little bit better. I removed the pie charts part. So now it's generating me ideas for my Power BI. I could also say, imagine a SharePoint UI UX. Uh, so we're just doing this real quick. We're asking it, hey, please give me some ideas of what my Power BI dashboard could look like. You can even, while we're here, we can even imagine redesign website, my website. Redesign my website, give me some ideas. And you could you know, write in there, oh, it's a water quality website. Um, and look how fast it goes. It's pretty fast, right? Imagine what you would have to do. And I'm sorry, people who are graphic artists or are UI UX people, imagine water quality website so people pay a lot of money for this stuff there's a lot of money going into designing ui ux a lot of money for choosing colors for creating logos now with the power of ai we are now getting different ways to you know visualize power bi i could use this and put it in a powerpoint and it's even better because you can't read the text but i could then talk about power bi I could then talk about my new SharePoint site, um, my redesign of my SharePoint UI UX. I could talk about that and visualize it. Uh, right here, we can talk about my new water quality website. So this mid-journey experience is huge. Now that's another way we can use mid-journey AI. Um, the final way, which I'm gonna use in my YouTube, is to use actual pictures. So we can actually put a picture in and have it bring back 
some other pictures for us. So check this out. I took a picture of myself, right? I took a picture of myself. Now, what you have to do here is you have to go to settings and you have to make sure that remix mode is on when you do this. Now, there's all kinds of different settings that you have here. Um, you know, I'm at the high quality, style, medium. There's different settings that you can set. But for this one, when you upload a picture, you have to have remix mode on. Okay, so I turn remix mode on. I gave it some prompts. I took my picture. I said, hey, give me some ideas. It's now going to uh, use that image. So we just uh, clicked on this image, copy link. It's now, it's giving me a male and a female version. Uh, let's try more. So imagine this as a 1990s cartoon. Uh, let's just get a couple more. Imagine this picture as a anime. And I don't know what's gonna come out. Uh, these do not look great. This one right here in the bottom left might be okay. Might be acceptable. But I, I gave it three prompts now. So now we have a 1990s cartoon. Hopefully it doesn't make me too ugly, but hey. If anybody's going to make fun of me, it's going to be myself. I'm going to make fun of myself. So it's giving me a couple different options here. I kind of like the bottom left. Here my teeth are a little too big. Uh, but yeah, let's, uh, let's see what uh, Mid Journey pulls out for us. And we also have the 1990s cartoon going. So it kind of gave me some ideas. It, it thinks I have long hair. So here is the image that I do like. I kind of like this image here. That looks a little bit like me. Um, with this, the light coming in, you can see the light shining in on the, on the side of my head. That looks a lot like me. I'm going to use this image for my YouTube background. Um, while that's going, let's take a look at what I did for the cartoons. All right, so uh, now it has visualized me as a 1990s cartoon. Maybe not the best. Some of them are okay. We can see uh, different options here for me as a 1990s cartoon. So I really think this stuff is powerful. No one is talking about this. I'm sorry for all the graphic artists out there, but Mid Journey is gonna be a lot cheaper than hiring a graphics artist. But to just go over, you can use Mid Journey to make your own logos. You can use it to make your own buttons, clickable buttons. We can use Mid, um, Mid Journey to help us with ideas for creating Power BI dashboard. So we can use it to find Power BI dashboards. We can use it to generate different pie chart looks. Power BI dashboards. We can have it envision SharePoint UI UX. We can have it envision website redesigns, different types of websites. Say you wanted water quality. Uh, this is a really powerful tool. And also you can upload your own images and have it generate your own images out of it, uh, which I'm gonna use one of these in my YouTube video uh, for the background image. So my name is Andrew Hess. This was just uh, you know some tips with using Power Apps, the Power Platform with Mid Journey. So thank you for your time. If you're new here, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next week.